we have got a leaking mains valve. This is the mains pipe coming up through the ground, the one on the left, and this is the main stopcock effectively, and it's leaking. Now, although that's not going to affect our water consumption because it's before the meter, it will affect the foundations of the house eventually because the soil underneath will become very, very soft and we will end up with subsidence, something that this property has already suffered from a very gradual weep from the pump, which is underneath that yellow cloth there. So, I'm going to change this but to do so I have to do it with the water mains still on. There is no way to turn the mains off before this stopcock. That's how it is in this village. So all work's got to be done very quickly and with water still coming out of the pipe. So what I've been doing over the last 24 hours is collecting all the bits together that I need and waiting for the water pressure to drop, which it frequently does in the village and that's when we have to use our pump for a storage tank. At the moment this is a very very low pressure which is probably about as good as I'm going to get. If I wait a couple of hours it might go right down even more but on the other hand it might come back up again. So I've got together all the bits that I think I'm going to need and I'm going to get started in a moment. Turn the mains off. Get this pipe off first. I actually hate plumbing, it's my least favourite job. It's definitely my weak spot in my DIY skills. This is the bit where it's all going to go pick tong. Just like the pressure on the, on the mains hasn't gone up since I started this. Now I'm going to saw through this and all hell's going to break loose. So we're going to get the mains running free in a moment. This is where we get wet. Oh, the joys of coming. Oh god, I've got to get some glue around this. Fucking hell, I've got everything in my eyes here, I think. Get some glue around that, some glue in there. I need that to go up like that. No, I need that to go like that. 
I'm going to shove this on now and the water's going to come out the top again. All over me. I need about 30 seconds to dry off. Holy crap. <sighs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm absolutely soaked. Oh my god. Right, shove a bit of glue around there. Just for effect. I don't know if there's water coming out of there or not, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's a good joint or not, but we'll put this together now. And we'll see. At least in this country you don't get cold doing this sort of job when you get soaking wet it's actually quite refreshing I don't want to put too much glue in here because it will go down to the to the on off valve and glue it in the position of closed or something so I've just got to be a bit careful how much I put in there Oops. I'll be careful when I drop it as well. Stupid boy. Okay. It's not going to go in very far. putting a bit of pressure on it to keep it from popping up while the adhesive dries, while the glue dries because it doesn't take very long, maybe about a minute, maybe about 45 seconds but that wasn't a very tight joint unlike the one going into the valve which was quite hard to push down so I've got more confidence in that than the one above it The only reason you can do this job quickly with the mains sp sp spurting out is because the glue goes off so quickly. So by the time you've got it on the pipes and you've managed to force it down onto the, the water that's spurting out, and as long as you haven't got the valve closed so the water actually bypasses where the glue is supposed to be working, it actually has a chance to dry and melt the two surfaces together fairly quickly. As far as I'm concerned, the moment of truth is this joint here, because this is a manual joint, not a glued joint, and it's relying on how much tape I've put on it really, and the fact that I over tightened it and then had to uh, loosen it off worries me a bit. So when we turn this on, we don't want to see any water spurting from anywhere, this joint's weak and there's a joint further that way that I noticed turned as soon as I started to try and get this off so I'm a bit worried about that as well because that's taped in and that might well start giving me a problem. Ooh, what's that there then? What, did, what came out then? Oh, that's not good. 
that's not good at all. Even without any pressure, there's water coming from this joint above. Oh God, that's bad. Turn it on and we've got leaks coming from here. So that means I've got to remake that joint. Not too much of a problem, just a bit of a nuisance. Well folks, what I decided to do to avoid having to cut this bit of pipe uh, off, which would have meant extracting it from the valve, was I decided to undo the meter. Um, and a little bit of water came out of it, which was why the water was dripping from the first place from this bit when I was trying to fix it together. There was obviously a bit of pressure in the system. This little valve in the uh, filter in the meter is a bit bunged up, so that's not going to help matters in the house. Get that cleaned off in a moment. Um, when I undid the meter and just twisted this a little bit, came undone like this, I just twisted it and the whole thing came off straight away, so it was nowhere near stuck together. It was quite pathetic really. This is the valve that I cut off and as you can see it's absolutely full of brown gunge and no doubt that's the cause of its failure. Okay, moment of truth number two. Let's see if we get a leak from any of these joints this time. If we do I'll edit it out anyway. There you go. There's a leak straight away from up there. As predicted. I'm not getting any damp from any of these joints. It's all looking good. Let's dry. Yippee! I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I'll probably wake up in the morning and find the whole thing spurting out. But as long as it spurts out before the meter, do we need to worry?